So, <coughs> I'm going to be playing some Space Crusade, which is a game. You probably guessed that bit. But it's a based on a board game. It was like a, a joint venture between Milton Bradley and... Um, uh, a Games Workshop, yeah, it was. It was Games Workshop, now known as Warhammer, of course. Changed their name a bit recently. Um, so they teamed up and made a sort of game based on the Warhammer 40k universe. A very simple, sort of simplified sort of board game with a hint of the sort of strategy game kind of stuff going on. Now, um, the reason it was made really is because of the... Well, they say because of the massive success of Hero Quest. I'm not sure, because I think it would have taken actually so long to have designed and got this game out. I'm, I think this may have been in the works when they released Hero Quest, personally. But uh, Hero Quest it was an absolutely astonishing game. Um, just a sort of board game, very nice plastic miniatures. You know, you got your barbarian, you got your dwarf, and you got your wizard, and you got your elf, and they're all going off into a dungeon to kill some naughty things. And it was super, super popular. Uh, hey, let's actually show you a picture of it. Uh, here we are. That's what you got in the box with Hero Quest. And here's some people playing it, as it should be done. Um, yeah, and you just made the stuff up as you went along. And it was like, this was the biggest thing in the world when I was a kid. Hero Quest was absolutely, absolutely. Um, massive. Everybody had it, everybody playing it, really enjoyed it. They released expansion packs, God knows what. Needless to say, computer version came out later, blah, 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 released for all the 8-bit computers and 16-bits, blah, 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 blah. But today we are interested in Hero Quest. No, Space Crusade, the other one. Sorry. <laughs> um, so, yeah, here's the box with weird cubes on it. I don't know, I took it from Board Game Geek. I apologise to everyone. Um, basically, it was set in a uh, space hulk, as I believe they're referred to, a big old ship that's uh, flown through the the warp, I think it is, and been taken over by dark forces of chaos. And you have to go in and kill them all, because they're right bastards. Um, and you have a team of space marines, and you go in and you know shoot them up. And it's all good fun. And again, you got a lot of miniatures. It's such a cool physical thing. Space Crusader. It is um, unbelievable. Oh, and uh, Lazarathor has mentioned, look up why Hero Quest is so great video on YouTube. Yes. 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 That is a fantastic video. Everybody do that at some point. But preferably not now, because we're talking about it directly. Well, Space Crusader, anyway. You can see there's a load of goblins, or... Uh, oh, they've got a different term in 40k. Gretchen, that's it. There's a load of orcs, which are spelt with a K, um, as opposed to a C. I think it's any difference. In above them, you've got the gene stealers, which are the horrible tyrannid things, very, 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 very tightly copied by, from uh, the xenomorph from Alien. Um, you've got some Chaos Space Marines. You've got a white thing that I don't think it was in the game. Um, then you've got, yeah, your Space Marines on the right. Also, there was the Dreadnought, which is in the picture, but you can barely see it because it's camouflaged in the background, which is like basically id 209 from Robocop, but with bigger guns and uh, chances of playing it. Chances of having different guns, should I say. You had to shoot the guns off, if I remember, and then destroy the shell itself. Can't quite recall. But yeah, there was a there was actually an expansion released for this that I never realised. Um, they called... What was it called? Eldar Attack. I've had to write it down. Where the Eldar, who are like the elves of the future, come into it. There was another far more um, prevalent expansion called Mission Dreadnought. I had that one. You basically got a Dreadnought that could have four guns at once instead of two. Oh, dearie me. Oh, and Corvus2014 mentions, and the Chaos Androids. Yes, the pre-Necrons Necrons. This is true. Um, basically like robot skeletons. They are. Yes, they are in the picture, over to the left, but you can barely see the damn things. Let's uh, move over to see it being played. There we are. That's better. Huh? Anyway, it's all very dice-based. It's turn-based. You move around. Somebody controls all the uh, alien people and all that, and it's all good fun. Now, the next year... It was released on bum, 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 all the bloody home computers. Like, all the home computers in the world. Oh, thank you for a thousand bits, twin killer. D don't actually kill twins. That's, like, really rude. Yes, I will see you at the forum on Saturday, presuming we're both there. I'm planning to be. I presume you are as well. Um, yeah, quick mention, in case you've forgotten, if you're Norwich-based, Norwich Gaming Festival, um, at the forum on Saturday, I'm giving a talk, and then if you want to come along to Epic Studios on Magdalen Street at half past the hour of seven, uh, we're going to be hosting the mighty... 
I think they're calling it the gaming, the Norwich Gaming Festival Gaming Pub Quiz or something. Anyway, I'm hosting it with Did You Know Gaming, and we've also written all the questions ourselves. So, you know, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> oh, I hope it is. It's very hard to uh, correctly sort of work out what type of questions to write when you don't really know the audience yet. But I think we've got a good idea. Anyway, back to Space Crusade. Oh, man, Skittlebrow. Skittlebrow has an alf emote and it is beautifully drawn. I need to stop looking at your emotes. I'm getting jealous of, like, all of them. Deary me. Oh, and MP83. We, I will sort out that uh, Killjoy remake at some point in the next few weeks. But not tonight. Or am I lying? No, I'm not lying. It will be tonight. <clears throat> so, yeah. Here's the thing about Space Crusade. When it was ported to the home computers, it's very faithful. It is almost precisely an actual um, copy of the game. The only real difference is that you don't, you can only scan over a short area, although scanning is a bad idea, as we will discover when we play it, um, as opposed to the actual board game where you saw these sort of blips everywhere. If I recall correctly, I could have that wrong. I've not played the Space Crusade board game for many, many, many years. Um, and the other difference is, weirdly, the gene stealers have been replaced by things called soul suckers that essentially look like more generic aliens, but with blades instead of hands. I don't get it either. I can only presume there was some kind of, I don't know, legal shenanigans of those sort of thought, oh no, it looks too much like an alien, or is a gene steal a bit too unpleasant for a kid's game? <sighs> well, no, if they thought that, actually, they'd have changed it in the bloody board game, wouldn't they? I don't know. I have no idea. But the fact remains, they are not in the game. And they uh, they only appear randomly on the map through encounters, if I remember anyway. So, we should probably get on and play some of this cursed thing, shouldn't we? That sounds like a plan. Right. This is kind of annoying music. Anyway, Space Crusade. Unfortunately, Barry Leach's music will be massively downgraded to use the old ST sound chip, which is a shame, but uh, the graphics and everything else should be pretty much identical. Yay. Joystick? Who on earth would play this game on a joystick? It's a top-down strategy. Yay! There we go. Half the colours, but at least it's all in time. Also takes up much more of the screen. Oh, he was shouting again. Now I am worried. Right, I'm just going to make sure this is in the centre of the screen, actually, because I'm not sure it is. Whoop, that's better. Right. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I might have to turn the volume down a bit for this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same tune you get in the game of the other one, but yeah, it's really not sounding uh, quite as uh, good, to say the least. Bum, bum, bum. Right. And we're back in. Yay! Right, we're going to the Ultramarines. Oh man, this was clearly a game that was developed on the Amiga and they just knocked down the amount of colours. I mean, look, they've just kind of lost the uh, orc's head entirely there. Right, here we go. Ready for insert data disk, yes! Star Tate, Star Quake 64, you took the words right out of my mouth. Ah. Uh. The good thing is, this was only on one disk, so hooray. It's really annoying, that little emulator frame around the outside, but it would take me a lot of fiddling to get rid of it, so, uh... Oh! <gasps> yes! Oh, we have Blood Angels, why? Oh, don't tell me that what I thought selected it actually deselected it. Uh, right, let's find out. So, this is the man in charge of the team. Commander Fielding. His weapon is a power glove and a power sword. You definitely, definitely, definitely want to pick this. In the uh, board game, you could pick from several weapons, and this is just the best one by a, like, country mile. Um, to say the least. Has the music just stopped? That's bizarre. Oh yes, hang on, that's my fault. It's because I'm about to do this. There we are. So everybody knows what the game is if they've just turned up. Right, let's open this door. There they are. How did we work? Yay! Right. 
How many moves can you... How many? I'm trying to remember how many squares you could move. Nope, just the one. Apparently this is odd. I've really forgotten how to play this. Right. Oh no! I see what I've done. You don't move one square at a time, you tell them where to go at the end. Right, so who have we got? We've got Ordellan, he has an assault cannon, which is like an absolutely lethal um, bloody great minigun thing. Fargo has what we in the trade call a missile launcher. It launches lots of missiles. You can walk on top of other people, I've forgotten that. Uh, Osmond has the, oh, that was a plasma cannon, I think, which sort of shoots in a straight line and injures everybody in that line. And poor old Tenza just has a bolter, which is the very standard gun in Warhammer 40k. Right, that'll do. Now, there's a thing, oh, I've just realised something. Yeah, we've got a second team. So, when you cover them up, that actually means they're coming on the game. Not, they aren't coming on the game. Oh, this is very confusing. Also, there's an isometric view, which you can see here. Generally, you only see that when there's some action going on. Like shooting, being shot at, all that kind of gubbins. So, I think we're going to have to restart, and actually start it with just the one team, aren't we? Blimey O'Reilly. Thank you. I'm glad this disc is no tribble at all, because we're having quite a lot of tribble on this stream thus far. But we're going to get there, guys. We're going to get there. Ooh. John Barnes football. Not too worried about that, to be honest with you. Now, inexplicably, I, it was not accepting one to start. What? <laughs> What's going on? No, that's, that's weird. Right, I'm going to start to reset. Right, something happened there. Go on. Yes! Woo! That had me worried there, guys. Ugh. I'm trying to remember what the Atari ST sound chip was called. Can somebody remind me? YM something or other. YM2, I don't know. Oh, we get to see the shouty man again. The problem is they're kind of shooting the wrong way because there's a dreadnought coming up right behind them. <laughs> the way he starts to shout again at the end. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to shout. I've already done it once. Right. Here we go. This should bloody well work. So only the Ultramarines are coming this time. And here we go. really wish I could have played the Amiga version, which was the lead platform for this. Very frustrating. I have no idea why it was just not accepting the disc. Right. There we are in the top right hand corner. Um, I suppose the plan is to go. Right. I'm going to show you something now that I don't normally do and I probably won't be doing again. Which is. Oh no, I can't yet. Hmm. That's odd. Well, when it comes up as an option, we shall do it. Right. You, mate. Open the door. Yay. Hmm. I think we're going to walk up to the door and not yet go through. Oh, bloody hell, is a Gretchen bugger. Right, this is problematic already. Fortunately, they are the weakest in the game. Uh, and we can probably slash them up quite easily. Uh, let's have a... Yes, there's nothing else down there, right. See, you can do a thing where you... I don't know why, but it's greyed out, so it's this here, which makes like a little scan pulse come out of one of your guys. The problem with it is, and I mean the big problem, is that once you've uncovered the blips of where the enemy are, they start moving against you. Whereas if you just walk in and discover them yourself, they don't do that. Right, well, you can't get all the way down, so that's ruined everything. You. Uh, nope. Mm, is that that? Here we are. That's what I wanted to show you that I should not have done. <laughs> because, uh, dear. YM2149. Thank you, ZX Guesser, mate. Thank you. Um, right. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, right. This is useful. Carlos can get in. Now, he's got a knife on the end of his old bolter there. 
I think he is going to hand to hand against the Gretchen. I have rolled one with one. He has rolled nothing. Well done, Carlos, you careless. The goblin has rolled one. I'm going to be honest, Carlos. I'm beginning to wish I had shot with you instead. This is going astonishingly badly. We found one alien, the weakest in the game, and he has shot us up. Ah, oh, dearie me, dearie, dearie me. Right, next turn. What is this? Oh, he's got a medikit, a blind grenade. Oh, I'd forgotten they had uh, things like this. That's interesting. What's he got? Medikit. I think we've all got medikits and blind grenades, really. Medikit. He may have more. He's the man in charge. No, nope. medikit, blind grenade. Can you lob a bright little blind grenade at him? No, that, nothing seems to have happened. Oh well. Okay. Destroy the lone android on board. Says the mothership. Thank you, mothership, Como, which I presume is short for communications. Also to Wild Bunny. Thank you for that astonishingly large amount of. Uh, Bits of just spot there. That's very kind of you. Right. What's it doing? Nothing? Nothing? Also, the blobs haven't moved. Maybe I've just remembered this game completely, but wrongly. Wouldn't surprise me. Right. Walk down here. And use your big bang stick to convince this Gretchen that killing your mate is a bad idea. A one. From a maximum of six, we got a one. It was enough. He's gone now. Let us never speak of him again. Why does it look like all the Space Marines are carrying giant courgettes? I really don't know. Ah, oh, dearie me. Right. I'm going to open the door. This may be foolish. And I'm going to move him right next to whatever it is. Oh, it's a Chaos Space Marine, I think. Right, hand to hand, for that is all you can do. However, he gets all the dice in the world. Reroll score, yes. Reroll this one, please. Oh, three. He's never going to defend against that. With his measly two white dice, which aren't as good as the red ones. There we are. Up yours, Chaos Space Marine git. We will find this Dreadnought. We will destroy this Dreadnought then there will be no dreadnoughts. That's kind of the way that works. Right, you wander over there, mate. Uh, you go here. And you are stuck there for the time being, I believe. Because you've already moved, like. So how do these blind grenade things work? You sort of select one. Oh no, he did use it! Oh! Ah, right, maybe that's why the Gretchen didn't get a turn last time. Because, uh, yeah, because the blind grenade went off. You see, it could have done with some kind of, um, you know, visual feedback, or perhaps a little bit of text, tell me what happened, I don't know. Oh, Panic Witch, you have made a very good point here. Yes, we should point out the dice are weird. They have like zeros on them, and they go up to like a maximum of, I think the white dice go one and two, and the red dice go one, two, three. Here we are. Right, that'll do for this turn. We've already had too much fun. Let's see what happens. And you've stepped on a booby trap. Well done. Oh, thank goodness he didn't die. That could have been much, much worse. Right. It's time for you to run down here and immediately regret it because there's some crap in the hallway that I thought were Evilton's and instead there is a Space Marine. Can you shoot him from here? You can. Bang. Oh, beautiful! No, it's not. That's an orc. Or at least it was an orc. Now it is an exploded orc, which is the best kind of orc, frankly. Hmm. Oh, just a hair. There is no inflatable crown emote because the uh, subscription emote is an inflatable crown. Or subscription badge. I don't know what they call them. Anyway, that's used up two of the assault cannon. The assault cannon you can sort of spray things with. Blow that one up as well. This weird pile of dung which is just sitting in a spaceship for some reason. They need some scutters or something to take it out. Right. Commander Goldstock. Not yet, darling. Marine Short. Your job is to go here and shoot that. 
which should blow up. Oh no, you can't shoot the blips. There we are. Oh no, that is that is absolutely fine. That's plenty good enough. I think anything above zero blows us up, if I remember. And the uh, missile launcher hits like a nine square, as in three by three square. Uh, three by three squares, therefore leaving no, no. <sighs> right. Not to worry. Commander Goldstock will go up and convince him of the evil of his ways, using his many dice, which he can re-roll. Yep, I think he has a defense of zero, and uh, yeah, well, one dice defense. <laughs> you had to beat my, like, six with a maximum of two. That wasn't going to happen, was it? Good, I'm happy with this. It's uh, going a bit better than it was earlier, let's put it that way. Right, and you may just, I don't know, come around here or something. Hart, so let's learn their names. Hart has the plasma cannon, Short has the missile launcher, Campbell has the assault cannon, and Goldstock is the commander, which means A, he has the best um, weapon, and B, he has like six life points, where all the others only have the one, which is a bit crap. Right. Mech assault is happening. If I remember, that means all the robots get harder for a turn. As we haven't got any robots, not too worried about that. Right, shall we do a... I was going to say, shall we scan? Yeah, go on then. Oh, the commander has a huge scan range. This may not have been a good idea. Right. Mm. I think I'm going to manoeuvre everybody into position before I do anything. You, come down here. You. Uh, can't walk very far because your weapon's heavy. It could take several turns to get everyone in position at this rate. Of course, because our other fast trooper is dead -a -da -da -da, where the uh, Gretchen took him down. I'm saying that right, it is Gretchen for goblins in 40k, isn't it? Hmm. Right. I think we're just going to leave that here and see what excitement occurs. Communications malfunction. I don't know what that means, but it's probably going to be awful. Oh yeah, they do, the bloody blips do start moving. Ah. Oh, should not have scanned. Right. Oh, and there's a soul stealer or soul sucker or whatever they were called. I left my dick in my other pants, which is an amazing thing I just said out loud. Um, yes, it's almost exactly like the board game, only a very a different thing. Oh, it used to be Gretchen, but now they just say Grot. Oh, interesting. Uh, no, that's a perfect score for defending against a Grot with a knife. Yeah, he did a bad thing. Oh, blimey. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's all right. It's got to be above a two to kill him. Whew. Never have I been so happy to hear a ricochet noise. Well, he's missed entirely. We should point out that much like the board game, I've just realised in the isometric mode there's no diagonal, so nobody's facing each other when they shoot. I've totally forgotten that. Um... So that we should point out that there's no like distance taken into account. So if you're right next to somebody, then you have as much chance of missing them as if you're 100 miles away. I know that makes no sense, but uh, there we are. Right, these things are bad news. The old soul suckers. Yeah, the orcs, all right. Gretchen. Oh yeah, I could have clicked on it. We said Gretchen. But anyway, we're going to call them Grots from now on because apparently that's a thing. You are going to have to take care of the evil. Uh, what is it called again? Soul Sucker? Yeah. Yes, we need more than that. Ah! Two! You might lose a health point here, mate. Oh no, it messed up badly. Yay! Good, that thing's gone. I'm pleased, because that is a proper problem. Just like XCOM. So there's an old one, 22 year. Oh man, love XCOM so much. Right, can you shoot him from there? Yes, you can. Good work, do that. Oh, he's rolled a three. That's quite handy. He's gone. I think I can now use the remaining points, yes, against other targets. So he's just managed to shoot and spin round and shoot him as well. That is pretty good. <laughs> Zotmeister says, In Car Wars, a machine gun fired at the ground has a 50% chance to miss. There, there's an image for us. Right. Anyway, good work. You have done good shootings. Now you can uh, not run in there yet, because you know, there's that orc in there being a naughty. Oh, right. Okay. Uh... 
Right, I'm, I've got a problem here because my only other gun is a missile launcher and there's somebody standing right next to the orc. So basically, it's all on your head, Hart. And you did well. You did well with your weird space laser gun. Congratulations. Marble Soup asks, Have you played Willow, the game based off the 80s movie? Uh, no. There were two, weren't there? There was an arcade game, which was a very... Um, I was going to say it was sort of very arcadey, obviously, because arcadey. I'm trying to remember if it was any good or not. It was all right, I think. He plays Will and Mad Martin and that. And there was like a home computer game that was more strategy based, had a lot of uh, sort of digitized screens from the film in it, I think. That is all I know, I'm afraid. Ah, uh, uh, well. Right. I think we're safe to go in there. Is there anybody else in this room that we have not yet seen? No, it's all good. In you go. I'm really missing the Amiga music, which is weird, so I've never technically played the Amiga version, but I've listened to the music a lot of times over the years. Right, that's it for this turn. Uh, I am not, I repeat, I am not going to be using any more of that damn uh, blip thing. Especially because if I remember, the Dreadnought doesn't show up as four, it only shows up as one, so you can't even use it to find the bloody Dreadnought. Android fault. It's your fault, Android. It's all your fault. It was going so well, but no, no. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I didn't realise they could shoot us from here. This could prove problematic. And thank you for subscribing, Skelly Corp and James Wand. And uh, my dick just fell off. That's the name of somebody who subscribed. That's not a thing that happened. Right. What is my favourite soundtrack of any game, Jason96? The answer to that is... Bloodborne. And it is an unbelievably fantastic thing. Oh my god, Vinnie the Vole reference. I hadn't realised, yes. Your fault, Android. Right. Not the operating system. Right, let's see what is the most efficient way of wiping these accursed... No, we are going to call them Gretchens. I know they've done away with Gretchens now, but these are Gretchens. Look, it says and everything. Right. I think Assault Rifle Billy is going to come in and keep him at a distance so the others can get in front if necessary. We shoot oh, he, can't, he hasn't got a line of sight to the other one. Bugger. Right, away with you and your weird jerkin. Oh, Ludwig's battle music, Drakkar. Yes. 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 And again, yes. That's probably the best uh, music in Bloodborne. That's saying a lot. Oh no, it was the other um, Gretchen that was getting in the way. Pion. Prot. Man, I'd, I really wish there was like a modern version of this for, for a tablet. Imagine that, using the touch screen. Oh, be amazing. Right, there is a blip there, being all blippy. Hmm. I don't think there's anybody else I can shoot as yet, which is fair enough. Cancel that. No, that's not working as a cancel. Uh, I think no. Click that instead. There we are. Right. Hmm. Well, I suppose move out. It'll give us some defence from uh, the rubbish, rubbish, evil blip that's coming. Also, uh, there is a turn-based thing. Incidentally, you know how it's saying about turns left. If you run out of turns, you done gone screwed the pooch. That is the end of it. Oh, Reese Horrigan says Games Workshop have made similar games for Android. They have. They've made similar ones for iOS and Android, I believe. And oh, oh my goodness, I loved them. Uh, they did a version of Warhammer Quest. Warhammer Quest is something that came after Hero Quest. And they did. Oh, a really good. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. It was for the guys who did Mercenaries. Um, it's basically a 40k one. Uh, Death Squad or something, oh, I can't remember. But it was very good, and I enjoyed it a lot. But unfortunately, uh, it was a little bit sort of um, keen on the old, you know, DLC, not DLC, um, in-game transaction, microtransaction, gubbin horribleness, which I did not appreciate. Right. Um, just to... Uh... Oh dear, what was that? That was an attack out of nowhere. Didn't see that. Oh, it's another Gretchen. Great. Go on, do your worst. It's almost impossible for you to actually do any damage. You rubbish thing. Um, there was, after Hero Quest, as many of you will remember, 
they came out uh, the advanced hero quest, which we got really into. It's like it still keeps a lot of the board game elements, but has proper RPG stuff going on as well. And they also did an advanced space crusade. I didn't know that until really recently, and I don't think it was very good reading between the lines because nobody seems to think much of it. Um, didn't seem to sell that well, and they reused parts of it for something called Tyranidus Tack or something uh, shortly afterwards. Reused all the little miniatures and stuff. But yeah. Um, I still like to play as a matter of interest, but uh, I imagine there's like only three of them on eBay and they cost a million pounds. Right, I'm moving him out of the way because I'm sure these guys can take care of this blighter. Uh, shoot before you move, mate. Get rid of him. Nope, that is perfect. He's got a target on it, which means he gets to reroll a dice. Lovely job. Right, move up, mate. Move up. Thank you, Collectus, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. I should mention, if you have uh, Amazon Prime, you can link your Twitch account and subscribe to this channel for free, which means you get to use the emotes, and I get, like, a small amount of money and it doesn't cost you anything, so that's great. Mad Sniper 44, you've never played a board game? Good grief. Good grief. You know what you should do? You should get a board game, and you should probably play it. <laughs> Silly rat, thank you for the subscription. Right. Let's get into this. Somehow. Nah, end of the turn. Out of ammo. Oh! Uh, this is a terrible thing to be out of ammo. He's gone to the crap bolter weapon. Which one have we lost? We've still got short. And we've still got Campbell, so we've lost the plasma cannon. Great. Just bloody great, and thank you for subscribing, Faithless Theologian, and Mitami, and Eman. I'm going to have to stop saying these, and Cheese Pizza. They'll be getting a lot of scrubs, and the Yunners. And did you know gaming? Wow, that's very good of you. Thank you, Did You Know Gaming. I appreciate that. That will be lovely Daz, or lovely Greg, or lovely Matt, or maybe all of them combined in their giant Zord they have. As I said earlier, if you can come to Norwich, 7.30pm uh, Saturday, Epic Studios, come see our quiz. It's going to be great. And if it isn't great, we'll pretend it is, because uh, we do things like that. Right. Mm. Let's have a look at this situation. I think I'm going to just walk him here, not too far in. He can now see if there's anything in here, and there is not. There is nout. Hmm. I wonder where the Dreadnought's going to be. I reckon one of the big rooms at the bottom. I think, yeah, we're going to head towards the bottom. What I'm going to do is uh, look on the map here. I'm going to come down here, then go... Oh, no, I'm not. It's a blood dead end. We're going to go this way. We're going to snake round and out through there. Right. Go on, mate. Martin Short. Good friends with Steve Martin. And... There you go. Oh, at least he can move further with his gun that can barely kill anything mental notes do not attempt to use it in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I seem to remember that the bloody great knife on it was useful. It's not. It's exactly the same as hitting him with a lump of assault cannon, basically. Right. Turns 38. Psychic attack? Great! Absolutely great. I'm really glad we're being attacked by things that aren't even tangible anymore. Corvus2014 says, Did you know that Games Workshop publishes some extra rules so you could play as orcs and even have gene sealer hybrids as enemies after Space Hulk came out? Cool. Um... That's a good thing. I I seem to remember buying White Dwarf, which is the Games Workshop magazine, because it had more info in about Space Crusade once. Or was it? Oh, it may have been Advanced Hero Quest, actually. That was game for. Can't remember. Anyway. Right. Just run down. Go on. Run down and see what's going on. Oh. Oh, that door's open, isn't it? Ah, doors! The most lethal of all things. Ugh, right. Um, hmm. Can you get a shot in, mate? Because you've got a gun that isn't a load of old pups. Yes. I get the feeling this is going to work quite well. I'm going to shoot behind him. Because, you see, it affects a 3 by 3 square square. That was a weird way of saying it. Yay! Good work, short. Your giant courgette. Or as somebody said earlier, that's pretty much just a marrow. Um has done the work. Right. Uh, 
Marsh Limited says, I got your book, Ashes. I want to know, when did you do more talks like Hair Razor, the worst game ever made again? Uh, I'm doing another talk this Saturday. I do one every year at the Norwich Gaming Festival. Although it's not going to be about something as interesting and as exciting as that, because I haven't found anything else as interesting and as exciting as that just yet. Um, but if I do, I shall do a talk of it. But it may take years. Weapons jammed. Great! Anything else? Right. So that means he can't fire this turn or something, if I recall. That's useful. Right. I see, I'm thinking... Should I check in here in case the Dreadnought's in there while we're walking past? I think the answer to that is pretty much yes, isn't it? Oops, I didn't click on that. Uh, clunky interfaces. Right. You open the door. Oh, it's one of them. There's a bloody surprise. Remove it from this universe, please. Thank you. I appreciate that. Ooh. So, oh, I can't, I can't quite read it. Leston, is that? It's, it's very bright green. Um, did you ever read any of the fighting fantasy dice-based books like The Warlock of Fire Top Mountain? Yes. I have an almost complete collection of Final Fantasy books. Maybe we'll do one on stream one day, that'd be a thing. Hmm, be interested to set up the camera. And thank you for subscribing, Galby3000. That is very kind of you. Right. I'm beginning to think we could probably have Chef Excellence with subscriptions on in the future, but uh, at the moment it went a bit berserk earlier, as many of you will remember. You may as well stay there, Goldstock, because uh, there's nothing you can really do until your slow old team catches up. Well, actually, no! You walk over here, and then while the team are walking to this door, you can check out this dead end and destroy anything that happens to be in there. Hey! See? S strategies or something. Right. Uh, you've all moved this turn, so that's the end of that then. I'm not using that damn... Um... Oh, we've got the master door controls! Yes, this is great. It now means you can just, uh, for the rest of the game, just open any doors wherever you feel like it. That's useful, because sometimes the aliens stand in the doorway when the doors are open, and the doors are massive, deadly bulkheads and crush them, and kill anything in one hit, even the Dreadnought. Right. Oh, there's an Orc. Let's convince it of the evil of its ways. Oh, bloody hell, there's no diagonals. <laughs> Let's just close the door. No, I'm not going to crush myself in the door. Um, that's This is problematic, because you're also blocking the line of sight for anybody to come and help you. This could have gone better. Oh, well, it's very unlikely the Orc is going to be able to hurt him, so... Uh... There we are. Do you know what? I'm just going to walk him down to here just in case he can shoot through. Because you can walk over other characters. You can't shoot through them though. Ah oh, well, it was worth a try I feel. Come on Campbell. Stop making your soup. And get with making soup out of your enemies or something. I don't know. That wasn't a very Warhammer 40k type phrase was it? Right. Thank you, Zagrabista. I recognise your name from somewhere. And thank you, Spam1701. Right. I'm trying to think of the relevance of 1701. Star Trek, maybe? Maybe? Right. Mothership scan. I think that now means if you the next time you press the scan button, it gets... Um, much better at the scanning. No. Oh, he's going to move in. Well, I am going to do what any good commander would do in this situation and run away. Run away! Because I want these guys to shoot at him and then it doesn't slow me down. There we are. Come on, Hart. Use your pea shooter. It just literally shot a pea. <laughs> that was the most feeble thing I have ever seen. Go on, Campbell. Show him how it's done with your horrifying uh, Predator-style diddly diddly gun gun. Uh. Ooh, Shatten Mensch says apparently they made a better game than Space Hulk Deathwing in '92. Deathwing. I've not heard of this. Well, I'm saying that it sounds vaguely familiar. Deathwing. I've managed to uh, 
write that out so badly. I couldn't actually read my own writing. Tremendous. Right. Uh, no, do, do not be shooting your mates. That, that, that is considered a badness. Right. Not opening any doors yet, because there's going to be some bad people. I reckon if I put these two with heavy weapons right above the door, and then open the door, I think good things will happen. Doom, doom, doom. That emote of my logo actually looks pretty good. Quite pleased with that. Right. Let's see what happens. Whoa! A soul sucker appears out of the floor or something and gets a free attack! Bloody hell. Fortunately, uh, he's attacked like my most lethal hand to hand unit, so it did not go well for him. Go on, let's reroll one of those for no reason whatsoever. E happy with that. Right. Time to open a door for we have the master controls. Hmm, nothing appearing on the scan. Interesting. Right, you're a bit disposable and shite. You run in, mate. <laughs> nope, literally nothing in this room at all. Well, that's exciting. We've got to find this dreadnought before too long or we'll run out of time and look like a right bunch of Charlies. Go on then. Mr. Ball Bearing Head. Alias Muse asks, will there be a hand job fairy emote? I'm going to be honest, the answer to that is no. Partially because you couldn't get enough uh, detail to really make that work. Music is cool, says Jess Lewis Castaneda. Tell you what, mate, or Jose, sorry, Lewis Castaneda. I tell you what, mate, you should have heard the Amiga version. Oh, dear. Anyway. If I play this, I'm going to have a see if I can get that running on something later and see if, um, just in case we ever stream this again. I'm going to be honest, I'm not planning to stream this uh, again for quite some time because we're going to be playing it most of this evening. Right. Hmm. Hmm. I think I know what to do here. All you can do is walk up to the door, so I might as well do that, really. There's nothing, incidentally, if you were wondering. There is uh, nothing in this game about... Um... Sorry, I've just seen something in the chat which totally uh, knocks me off my... <laughs> Do I need a hand with the meager emulation? No, thank you, Dana Christmas. I was there when they invented bloody Wing UAE. It all works fine, but it's for some reason could not pick up the second disc of this. I don't know what that is, and it's extremely annoying. And thank you, Demon of Gaming, Bushman G1, and Geek Meets Twitch for subscribing using Twitch Prime. Except two of them went Twitch Prime. But Bushman G1 was a tier 2 sub. He gets used to Chef Excellency mode, which is astonishing. Whatever happened to the development PS2 game you sent over to the Digital Gaming guys? The, oh, Explosion Royale. Yeah. That's still a thing in the world. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's not much to be done with it, to be honest. I kind of showed it off in a video and... Yeah, that's kind of it, really. Um, it's just a very early alpha build of a game engine, really. Hmm. Oh, the Yunus. No, this is not C64, mate. This is the Atari ST version. Um, there was a Commodore 64 version, but much fewer colours, much lower resolution. And this, uh, the SID chip is a sort of slightly dirtier, grungier sound. This is a... Uh... Oh, somebody said earlier, I can never remember the name of the... Uh... YM chip in this. Ooh, ooh, who wants to shoot first? I don't think it should be Campbell. I think Campbell should walk into the corner and see if there's anything else in the room because he can spread his fire. There wasn't anything else in the room. Oh well, you go by now. Mm. I'm pleased with that. Right. Uh, no, do not use your... Oh, yeah, do, would you? Oh, it's annoying me because the cancel button doesn't work as cancel for that. It just makes the map go mental. Right. Mm, you get down here, mate. You get over there. Do 
2149, 2149. Thank you, Mentus. How are you doing, my friend? Uh, there is an emote coming, but that emote has not yet been approved by Twitch. Because uh, all emotes have to be approved by Twitch to make sure you're not uploading a picture of your bum. Or if you are uploading a picture of a bum, that it meets their stringent bum standards. Right. What's going on this turn? Oh, nothing. That was easy. I'll do more of that. Right. Open the door. No, that's not the door open button. Come on, guys. We've got to get this dreadnought. Uh, great. Fan Dabby Dozy. Uh, right. Um, well, I suppose the thing to do is to blow up this damn thing. Oh, God, no. That's, that's like enough to destroy the universe. Oh, look at that. Missile launcher, missile launcher. There's been a distinct lack of Tyranid so far, says Matt D. Well, Matt D, my friend, I'm going to be honest, there is a Tyranid, and it's the Soul Suckers, which should be Gene Stealers, but for some reason renamed for the game. Uh, oh, there's nothing, absolutely nothing up until right the other end. Oh, look, that's very odd. Hmm. Oh, well, as we'll just uh, wander on out, I suppose. We can check these two rooms in the bottom right first, I think. I'm not going to split the team up to do it, because that involves the deaths. Oh! Monifa Akmanet says, I've been watching you since the Terminator skin toy. Watched the videos ever since. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, the Terminator skin toy, incidentally, I saw two of those in the Office of the Nostalgia Nerd recently. He's got the modern one and also the old Arnie Schwarzenegger version. So it's the Terminator Salvation and the uh, Terminator 2 version. A little bit of trivia for you. Right. I hate that grinning face of that alien bastard who's running this. Right, may as well open this. Uh, how far in can I get? That's probably good enough. Oh, yep. Oh, blimey, right. We have the Chaos Commander. Oh, balls. Oh, balls. <laughs> so, just see that Leston said, if you ever get rid of your brown sofa, will you cut it up and sell it on eBay? I got... Oh, Nymphina. Yeah, you're right. Gene Steelers were not Tyranids at that point. You're absolutely correct. Um... Uh, we can't sell it on eBay. Yes, it, it's kind of happened, um, but more news on that soon, because I got rid of part of it and I literally cut all the skin off it, so to speak. Well, upholstery. But I like to think of the sofa as a living being when I cut its skin off. Yeah, maybe not. Right. Go on then. Can you take out the Chaos? No, you can't. Two isn't enough to take out a Chaos Commander. to get that pew sound effect which is a bit feeble oh balls the heavy weapons guy can't make it out right you get over here and shoot the orc do not engage the chaos commander because you will end badly oh bloody hell there's two uh, Gretchen together uh, you've missed the orc right we're in trouble now guys we are in trouble and thank you for subscribing the random genius 42 and Travax right hmm Has he got enough line of sight here? Oh, maybe should, Oh, no, because that one's it. Yes! Oh, yes, four is enough. No, nope. keep that. Good work, mate. Good work. The marrow has done its job and blown the living potato out of the Chaos Commander. Oh, this is a 100% run, says Signal Age. No, it is not. Right. Uh, can you make it down to the Gretchen? No. You can run in here. The chances of the Gretchen's pathetic guns injuring you are slight, and you have many healths, and we've got some med kits and some stuff as well, so... Oh, bloody hell! Oh, no, he did kill him. That's all right. I thought we'd got uh, the same for a second. That would have been frustrating. I just got a uh, internet security thing about GPDR, that's great. Mm, from an antivirus thing that I'm not using when I get my new computer. Right. Right. Nothing else we can do here. Oh, not another random soul sucker pops up and just kills somebody. 
Ugh. Ooh, Vanguard Who says the Ultramarines became a bunch of dorks. How? Tell me why. I do not know enough of the, um, lore. Oh. Oh my god! You just beat it to death with a marrow. You are amazing. I've forgotten your name. Uh, I think it was, uh, Short? Oh, there we are. <laughs> just shoot his mate in the back. They really needed to put in some diagonal graphics in this, didn't they? Oh my god. Ooh, that was close. It requires more than a two to kill a marine. Ooh. Oh, I've had the plasma cannon guy. Well, I do have the plasma cannon guy, but he no longer has a plasma cannon. He's just standing there like a useless. Right. Well, uh, mm hmm. You shoot him. Then he will have been shot. Oh, well done. Games Workshop hired a new lead writer for 40k to turn the Ultramarines into the ultimate John Doe Mary Sue chapter. What? John Doe is like an unnamed corpse in America. And, or an unknown corpse. Corpse of an unknown person, let's say that. And Mary Sue is like uh, idealised self insertion fan fiction, isn't it? Um, I don't know why I said fan fiction, because it has to appear in something... Well, does it? I don't know. It's uh, self-insertion. Idealised self-insertion. There we go, that's a better way of putting it. Um, that's impressive to do that with a whole chapter of people. Right. This is unnecessarily dangerous running in doing this. But I have faith in Campbell. I have faith in the way he's totally ruined this. And missed entirely with an assault cannon pressed to somebody's head. <laughs> Did you know games? I remember switching the view in this game blew my mind as a kid. The detail. Oh! Gonna be honest, I remember it being more impressive at the time as well. Right, this is a problem because uh, missile launcher boy here can't hit both of those at once unless oh, I got a plan. Got a plan. Right, run around here. Uh, no, don't attack yet. Actually, let's see if. Short, who, let's face it, is getting most valuable player at the end of this, can use his missile launcher on this square, so therefore avoiding all us. Oh, he has as well. What a man. What a man. What a courgette. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. Really pleased with that. I thought we were in trouble there, guys. I thought we were going to have ourselves a bit of the old death, but no, we have done well. And as a direct result, Marine Hart is going to stand here. That's how they celebrate on Hart's homeworld of idiots. Right. He's got a report in. Oh, does that mean he can't move the next turn or something? You know, he's pretty scared of his, um, his commanding officer. If he's like, ah, I'm firing off all these gene stealers. Ah, 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 ah. Report in. Okay, I'm going to report in now. Right. Uh, we can actually open the door remotely, can't we? Very useful skill, that. No, there's nothing in there. Ugh, mm. oh, go on, you can walk quicker than everybody else. Heart. Have a quick run in, mate, and just make sure there's nothing. Ah, so uh, there was something. There were, in fact, two orcs. Okay, take that one out. When I said take that one out, I didn't mean literally take it out for a meal and then give it a nice massage afterwards. I meant kill it. Right, Campbell. See if you can succeed where he fell. Oh, why have I just hit the close one? What a stupid thing to do. Because uh, now... Oh, no, I just married Mist anyway. Well, this is going well. Um, bulletproof Billy the Orc. Ah, you can get the further array one. There we are. Of course, Short succeeds with enough power to destroy the universe. Oh, Mensky is making a really good point that I nearly did a uh, what honks my chuff bit on once. Stupid people now totally misuse Mary Sue to describe overpowerful character that comes out of nowhere. I mean, Mary Sues do tend to be that, but the self-insertion thing is important. Absolutely, absolutely. A Mary Sue is quite obviously an idealised version of the actual author. So it's weird stuff like people went, said uh, Ray from Force Awakens was a Mary Sue, and I'm like, why? You, you think J.J. Abrams is... what? 
I mean, if you think the character's OP, fair enough, but don't use in inapplicable terms, because that weakens language for all of us. Oh, I've just remembered he's calling in, isn't he? Great. Great, great, great. Do you know what? I'm just going to seal <laughs> Heart in there with him. Sorry, Heart. Oh, dearie me. Oh, dear. Hello, Nerd Cubed. How you doing, my friend? How you doing? Oh, you've got that inflatable crown stuck in your head, so you're not doing well. Right. Uh... Oh, thank you, Jed1984, for your lovely Twitch Prime subscription, which cost you nothing but gave me enough money to buy a Mars bar. Just kidding. Mars bars are so expensive now. Um... And Sparrow9612 correctly says the original Mary Sue is a terrible character in an early Star Trek fanfic. Yeah. Would you describe... Oh, fanfic of a sort. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, dear. Mad Sniper says, I thought Mary Sue meant a female character to depend entirely on the other character. Nope. Nothing like that whatsoever. Nothing like that whatsoever. And thank you, Yamastain, for subscribing. Right. Hmm. Mm, I'm not going to go into hand-to-hand -hand with it, because that seems to involve my own death, and I don't fancy that. Oh, that's not enough. Heart, you are a disappointment. I think what I'm going to have to do is just open the door, and because these guys are too slow, I'll just get them going, and the commander can just run in, mutilate this bugger, and uh, everything's done. Annoyingly, his nice... Um, I can't remember what it was called. His little uh, targeting computer thing that let him re-roll dice seems to have gone. That must have been equipment malfunction earlier. Right. Let's get out of here, boys. Mama's got some stew on the stove. And there's a reference literally nobody is going to get. Right. Uh, you haven't moved yet, have you? Oh, yes, you have. I moved you in. It's you who hasn't moved. There we are. And now I can close that door remotely and... That happened to me once! I remember fiddling with controls or something and being distracted and crushing two of my own marines. That's not going to happen today. Auto defences. Oh, God, someone can get shot. Yep. Ooh, that was... Ooh. 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 That was close. That would have really annoyed me, actually, if somebody just randomly exploded on my team. It's my thing I hate in real life, when people randomly explode. Anyway, let's get in. Ooh. Hey, Ashens, are you going to play Mechanicus? It's an upcoming 40k game. It's kind of like this. We play as a cyborg engineer priests. Is it space marines? And you fight Necrons. That sounds bloody great. I'm going to look into that later. Steam paused while I write this out. Um, Mechanicus. I do like me some 40k. I'm not a fan of the normal Warhammer. I don't have anything against it. It's just, it's just so Tolkien, isn't it? You know, it's so, you know, it is. But it does have some cool stuff in it. I like all the Nurgle stuff because that's deeply unpleasant. Um, so, in fact, yeah, when it gets to the demon stuff, I think uh, Warhammer has some really good stuff going on. Right. Yes, <laughs> Random Genius 42 says, Congrats for clearing that hard section. Your reward? A slight chance of explosion. Yeah, that's uh, great. Right. Oh, bloody wars. He's going to get him this time. We've been so lucky with these random soul sucker appearances. Oh, no, he's missed entirely. Oh, come on. Well done. Well done. Oh, it's short again. Short is like he's the killing machine. Absolutely fantastic. Right. Hmm, I reckon there's going to be a lot of squit in this next room. Uh, I may actually do a scan, because there's not going to be much around this area. So I shall have a bit of a tactical scan, I reckon. Right, short. You need to get in. Campbell, you need to get in there as well, mate. And as the person in charge, you must hide behind everybody else, apparently. Right, I'm not going to scan until the start of next turn. I'll start moving. Auto defences again. Great. Fortunately, is against the commander who has hit points. So, and he hasn't lost any anyway. <laughs> I 
Elcor101 says, what do you mean by gene stealers are not tyrannies? I think at the time this was made, uh, they hadn't kind of... Tyrannies didn't really exist as a concept. They were just gene stealers as a thing on their own. And then uh, tyrannies were written in later. That is my understanding and my memory of it. And it's probably wrong, but there we go. Right. Ooh, shit, son! It's the Dreadnought in the big room at the bottom. Was it always in here? Because now that seems a bit... Hmm. Oh god, Rockhead Rumpel 69. David Firth reference, plus 10 points. Um, ever play the RTS Baldies? That's more of a great games you've never heard of. Mm, I've heard of it. I can see a screenshot of it in my mind. Didn't uh, enjoy it much, I don't think. But... Right. Right. And again, right. Okay. Heart, as you are a man of rubbish, you can just run in there. So I don't care. Oh, bloody hell's a cow space marine. What weapons he got? Oh, bloody hell, he's got a missile launcher. Oh! Look, just take out the Gretchen. You're too weak to do anything else. Oh, you couldn't even manage that. You couldn't even hit a barn door, my friend. A barn door. Oh. I've just said, remember, we haven't seen any androids so far, have we? Mind you, didn't they only appear? as uh, random counters or something. Right, short, you are the man. And you can hit both the Dreadnought and the Chaos Marine. And the Chaos Marine has the same gun as you, so it's all good. And you still have your targeting computer. Oh god, we're going to have to re-roll that. That's not going to do anything to anyone. Oh, short. Well, you couldn't be perfect forever, my friend. Pew. Right. Campbell, mate. Uh, move down here. Hmm. Oh, bugger, I can't get the orc from here. You're going to have to go for him, because I've just grouped all my bloody... Uh, oh, no. So I've just realised I've grouped two of my marines together when we're fighting somebody with a missile launcher. I've just realised I could close the door. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you know what? I'm actually going to. You get out of the way, because um, just in case uh, Mr. Missile Launcher comes in. Well, I'm going to be honest, Hart. You were good with the plasma cannon, when your plasma cannon went, you became extraneous to the Emperor's needs. Mothership, come on. Yeah, we know. There's an android on it somewhere. We haven't found it. We don't care. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well, Hart. We've got the comedy smoking boots. And that is the end. Good. If anyone's going to come hand to hand, I would prefer it to be him. Oh, blimey. This is going interesting. Oh, that's quite a good one. For oh dear. We could lose. Oh no. Oof. Ooh, ooh, that was close. Nearly lost somebody there. So that is a draw. Nobody dies in the hand to hand. Hence why you hear that ping sound effect. And now... Oh, the orc's having a go at him. And the orc has failed miserably. I seem to remember all the orc models had big machetes, but... Oh, when I said the orc has failed miserably, I was looking at our own dice roll. <sighs> what a perfect time to lose... It. Oh, God. Now he's getting the full force of this. Oh, well, he survives. I hope that's a... Uh, yes! He blew up his own <laughs> Gretchen. Good work, you daft apeth. Oh, no, the crappy guns that are stuck to the front of it. Monifer Akmanet, yes. Um, I don't play a lot of tabletop RPGs these days. Yes, I'm aware of the 40k ones. I used to play Space Hulk back in the day. Right. Uh, I think the plan is get out of its immediate line of sight and shoot here, which will affect both of those blighters. Yes, definitely rural score, because that's useless. And it's still useless. Hmm. Our luck does seem to have left us somewhat. Right. I've got a weird plan here. Run around here. Kill the orc. And then I'm going to close the door. And my plan is 
Yes! Um, the missile launcher guy will hopefully then indulge in some hand-to-hand -hand as opposed to using his missile launcher. Booby trap. Oh no, 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 no. Whew. Oh bugger, I was not expecting the dreadnought to walk in. Oh, it's just given birth to like an orc that's coming around the back. Great. This this Oh blimey. Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna lose a lot of hit points here. <laughs> That's the noise a space marine commander makes when injured. <laughs> For the emperor! <laughs> right, uh, what is your health like remaining? Two of six! <clears throat> right. The first thing you're gonna do is walk right next to this guy, get your med kit, and use it on him. Why, why hasn't it worked? Why isn't it. Oh, yes, it has. Oh, thank goodness for that. Right. Um, hand to hand him. It's all we can do. Five. That's not bad. Four. Yes. It's going to lose one of its weapons. Oh, and it's going to make the same noise, which is great. Do, 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 do. Incidentally, if you're wondering why I'm not shutting the door, because it'd just be too easy. I could literally close the door now, and the dreadnought would instantly die. But in some way. That doesn't feel as much fun. Oh, I can't fire. <clears throat> okay, that was a little bit cheaty, maybe. Not really, it's still within the rules of the game. There we are. <laughs> but yeah, couldn't find me missile launcher. I didn't fancy getting uh, hit with that missile launcher guy. Right. We still got to find this bloody android. I'm not sure we've got enough time to. Ah, right. This is a bit more interesting. I mean, he's got a missile launcher. What does he do? He tries to bang me on the head with it. Well, I've got a power glove and a power sword. Ugh. Ooh, that was close. Hmm. So we've got to get... If I remember, you have to get back to where you started to complete the mission. Hmm. How many turns have we got? I'm going to have to be, I'm have to be clever on this. Yes! Nice. I don't know why I'm so excited about winning probably the easiest dice run in history, but there we are. Ah, marvellous. All hail the immortal god emperor. Right, um, short, mate. You may have to go on a bit of a, uh, hunt on your own. Oh, here we go again. Um, the reason being... I may have to get the commander who can walk quicker back to the uh, base. Mind you, if we go up around the side here... Hmm. See, it's difficult. We really want to uh, uh, get this robot as well, so we've done it 100%. Android fault. Your fault, Android. Right. Come on, Commander Comstock. Presumably you were the bad guy in the Bioshock Infinite. Um, oh, bloody hell. There we are. Get this pile of dung. Nice. I know you find there's some horrible psycho fighter, but we've already got rid of the Chaos Commander, we've got rid of the Heavy Weapons Chaos Marine. Yeah, I think we're mostly good guys, I really do. Oh, you're gonna shoot, that's handy. Right. Lure of Chaos, no! Whew! That turns him into a Chaos Marine. If I had lost short in such a way, it would have broken my heart. My heart, friends. Right, I really should uh, pay attention to how many turns I've got left next time. 
Right, open that. Do you know what? Bring it on. I think the chances are the robot is in this room. I'm just going to run in. No, it's all rubbish. Right. Good, that'll do. Unless, of course, it manages to get two. It did not. <laughs> right. Hmm. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is not move anybody else, because that's the end of this turn, kind of. Oh, no! We've lost Short. Oh, Short now only has a bolter, which is useless. Well, at least he can move quicker, I suppose, near the end. Oh, dear. Well, thank you for those 200 bits, Skelly Corp. Couldn't get the donate to work. I think it works. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Right. Hmm. Alright, I've got a weird plan here. See if you can actually kill somebody with your pathetic putt putt gun. You can! Thank you, rodents of the Astro Waste. I shall check out the hardcore punk stroke crust stroke math rock album dedicated to me on Bandcamp. <laughs> My god. I'm going over that. Bandcamp. Wonderful sound. Strange shape. That is the perfect name for it, isn't it? Strange shape. I'm finding this game weirdly compulsive. It's as clunky as hell due to the uh, quite obviously ancient um, interface, but it's working. Oh, oh no, come on, do another. Oh, he didn't manage to kill the orc. A disappointment for all concerned. Well, I'm just going to walk out there. And uh, that'll do, really. Ten turns left, bugger it. Just got to run for it, I think. Oh man, right, I've got, I've got a strategy. Ooh, a Chaos Marine. A Chaos Marine has attempted hand-to-hand. Hand-to-hand with the guy with the power glove and the power sword. Oh dear. And he's gone. That was very, very foolish. What's the orc going to do, do you reckon? Oh, nothing, he's just going to stand there. All right then, we'll get going. <sighs> nice to see you, mate. Oh, hang on. Who's this swine? Oh, there's a Gretchen up the top. Right. Uh, can you shoot me from that distance? You can. You may as well do that. Technically, you have to have a pop at the orc, but the chance of him here killing the Gretchen are about zero, as uh, thus demonstrated. Just shot it off into the ether. Into the warp. Right. Bugger it, I'm just going to run for it. <laughs> we haven't got much time left. Another orc. Oh, where is this android? Hmm. Oh well. Let's see what occurs. Oh god, we're being shot back. It's a rarity. Ah, Guchion says he wasted so much time on the C64 version of this. Yep, solid version, I believe. This is getting quite crunchy in the old audio now. He almost appeared to be coming out of the walls. It's a digital gaming, yeah. Rocket Rumple, are the soundtracks larger than the graphical assets in this? No, because it's chiptune, so the the um, soundtrack takes up almost no space at all. However, <laughs> uh, the Amiga version, that may be true. All right. Shoot that goblin. Shoot him. Shoot that Gretchen. Shoot that Grot, whatever they call them these times. Oh, look at that. Oh, Favre says the specy version is the only one with isometric movement. So it makes it better on all versions. True, but if I remember the isometric, it wasn't really clear what was going on in the isometry in the Spectrum version, did it? And thank you for subscribing, Graham Parks. Bless your heart. Right. Hmm. 
Actually, you know what? Let's just run. Run away! And... You can do the same. Oh, there's another Chaos Marine. Oh god, it's not a... Hmm, actually, before I move... No, just not normal crap gun. But you'll be fine, don't worry about it. Go on, might as well kill this one on the way through. It's a hobby, isn't it? Did you know orcs reproduce through gas clouds? <laughs> I did not know that, cornflakes leet, but, uh... Wow. Shat and Minch definitely go for the Amiga version of this tune. It is easily found. Right, close the door. That'll be found them. That won't, won't slam down at all, actually, but there we are. Got the master door controls again. We've got a spare one in case something happens. Orcs are fungi. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, he's coming in. Thought he might. Oh, he's not going for the commander in hand to hand. What a bug. Oh, I was hoping to stop it. I could close the door in it, but it didn't happen. Oh, no. How did you fail that? <sighs> Deary me. Just wait until the Inquisitorius hears about this. Hmm. So how many turns remain? Oh, I missed it when it said. It, it would be nice if I actually told you that in general, really, wouldn't it? Um... I'm going to... Uh, scan. For no reason. Just check there's nobody outside that door, really. Well, you can shoot. Or you could attempt to kill the Gretchen. I'm going to shoot the Gretchen because uh, I think hand to handing it is just too damn dangerous. Right. Now, what do we do with this one? I really think I am just going to run away. This is, will not be a good time to accidentally close a door. Close that one. Just out of politeness. Stop the cows escaping. Oh dear, Just a Hair asks, what's the best way to get super glue gel out of clothes? I'll be honest with you. Yeah, kind of knackered. You're going to really do is sort of scrape at it. You're not going to be able, probably, to use much on it to uh, undo or to sort of remove the glue chemically, but that wouldn't damage the fabric, which is a shame. And that's solvents for you. Right. Oh! <laughs> Can you hand to hand a pile of dung? Yes, you can! Well done. Yay! Oh, now it's still going to be blocked, isn't it? No, well. No! The android! The android has been found! Yay! Right, if we can get that and then get out of here, then gettings will have been got. And this will be a victory for all concerned. Um, hmm. Oh, can't do a whole lot. It'll be fine. He's lost a health point. Oh, bloody hell. Maybe it won't be fine. Ooh. Soul sucker. He's not a gene stealer. Has rolled a three. This is not good. Oh, I've rolled five. Ha, screw you, hippie. And that's the end of that. God, they look rubbish, don't they? They look like a badly drawn gene stealer with knives for hands, literally. Android's having a pop with his weird gun that is the only thing in the standard game, if I recall, that has three white dice. Three white dice. Three white dice. See how they run. And thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Zombie 8. Or Zombate. Um. Right. Ugh. Okay. I think Short might finally be in trouble.
Yeah, he's looking pretty surrounded. And they're all hand-to-handing him. Can he beat the one of the orc? Yes, he can! Even with a crap weapon, Short lives on. Good work, mate. Oop! The Chaos Space Marine has got a zero if you defend with anything. Yes! A three! <laughs> you could give Short just an empty packet of cereal and it'd still manage to kill them by the looks of it. Absolutely astonishing. That is a really good point that everyone in 40k is hunched over all the time unless they're Eldar. Hmm. What about the tarot? I can't remember that Oh, I missed the dice rolls. Oh, bugger. I wasn't looking. <laughs> that was your bad luck. You fought valiantly, Short. You did fight valiantly. Ah, well. You go boom now. Oh, no! We haven't got the amount of turn- Oh, no! No! We don't have the amount of turns for this! Goldstock's lost three health points! Oh my goodness, right. Well, I'm going to have to keep moving and fighting, obviously. Um, or I'm not going to make it back in time. Oh, crikey. Oh, I shouldn't move that far, because now the android will probably try and shoot at me instead of uh, coming in. I might open the door. Oh, the Gretchen will open the door. Oh, oh! Come along, then. Oh, right, I can kill the orc or something. And the Gretchen is probably going to die here. I was right. Hooray! Oh, no, 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 no. How many turns have we got left, guys? I have not seen. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Oh, I've forgotten there's bloody orders you can do at the start of a turn. You can issue orders. Oh, bloody hell. Totally forgotten about that mechanic. And that, my friend, is how doors work. Not sod it. Just gonna go for it. Oh, nice five. It'd be almost impossible for it. Well, not impossible, but yes. Right. So it's all down to can I get there in four turns? Equipment malfunction. Oh, good. That, that's wonderful. That'll help us. Fire! No. Is there one called Run Really Quickly? No, there isn't. There's just... A, that's the only one I have. Fire. I don't even know what that does, because you don't tell me. Right. This looks like a job for getting out of here as quickly as we possibly can. Turn one. Turn two. Oh, bloody hell. We would be the one that's the furthest away, wouldn't we? Um, oh, oh, oh god, this is going to be tight, guys. Can we get a thumbs up power glove icon as a remote? As a remote? <laughs> I'm going to start a petition. <laughs> thumbs up for power gloves! Right. Uh, which is the quickest way? Oh, uh, yeah, through here. Reach Docking Claw this turn. Oh, not a bloody soul sucker now. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 not now. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, man, we lose one point, but that's not enough to... Uh... Whew, not enough to kill us, fortunately. He's down to his last health point. And that idiot stood in the doorway, so I can tell you what will be happening to him. Um, This is our final turn. We have to get back to the Docking Claw. And we bloody did it. Didn't get to crush the uh, soul sucker, but never mind. You have won the mission. Your team scored 2-9. 
Uh, congratulations. That was a heroic performance, which has impressed the highest office of the Imperium, and has been discuss uh, discussing your bravery in the officer's mess on board the mothership. You have been awarded three honour badges, and have my appreciation for wasting the alien scum. The Imperium are pleased to hear the report that you successfully completed the primary mission. Yeah, we completed the secondary one as well, about the robot. Do they not care about that? Uh. Oh my god! I'd totally forgotten this. <laughs> it's all for you, Short. All for you. Logged for Imperium Records on a fucking Polaroid? What? <laughs> What's happened to the Mechanicus Adepticus that they're using bloody Polaroids? Oh, that's great. That is great. Oh, man. Oh, 